Culture Youth, we're back with your answers to your questions, which are needed. Um, on that note, write your questions on a Friday. We have got two ones, actually three, oh, on the topic of baptism. If you're at church on Sunday, you would have seen four guys get baptised, and it was awesome. Mm -hmm. um, so not, the, not Bryn, though. Yeah, I totally missed someone, them all. Someone ditched him in Sunday school. What a kid. <laughs> <laughs> so we're, going, we're talking about baptism. I mean, straight up, what even is baptism? Okay. And then the questions we've got are, when is it too young to be baptised? Mm -hmm. Or how do you know if you're ready? Mm -hmm. um, so share okay, some awesome. thoughts. So number one, what is baptism? Okay, some of you might have seen it, for those of you that were Sunday night, you saw that these guys were went into a pool with the church leaders and they were immersed underwater and brought back up again mm. as a public proclamation that they have now committed their lives to following Jesus. Mm. Um, so that's what baptism is. Um, so, but when are you ready to be baptized or when is too young to be baptized? Basically, if, if you've decided that you're now trusting in Jesus Christ, for the salvation that you so desperately need, mm. you're ready to be baptized. Mm. If you decide, okay, I'm no longer living for myself, and I'm no longer living for sin, I'm no longer living for the world, but I'm now going to follow Jesus, you are ready to be mm. baptized. So that means um, baptism is for Christians. Mm. You can't just baptize whoever you want. You can't just like, grab your cat or your dog and just <laughs> dunk them in the bath and say, okay, I'll baptize my cat. Or you can't just run out in the on this on um, on the street with a water pistol and start shooting people with water and say that you've now baptized people. Um, it's specifically for someone who's trusted in Jesus Christ. Um, yeah, that's who can be baptized. So, in answer to that question, when are you ready? Well, have you trusted in Jesus? Mm. Are you now following Him? Because that's the very next thing you should do. Okay. Get baptized. So it's not a matter of of you need to be like mature enough or maybe you're legit enough as a Christian. Before yeah. you get baptized. No, definitely not. So you don't like earn the right to be baptized. Yeah. It's not like you like stack up your like brownie points and then like okay, Jesus says you're good to be baptized. Yeah. And actually, when like when we when we look at the Bible, um, this is an awesome story of how um, one day Peter the apostle was preaching and thousands of people decided to trust in Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of their sins. And the very next thing that Peter gets them to do is to be baptized. So we see then that very moment that you decide, okay, I'm trusting in Jesus, I'm going to follow him, then straight away you are ready to be, to be baptized. And even more than that, you should be baptized. Okay, so, so if, if you're a Christian mm -hmm. um, and you haven't been baptized, mm -hmm. what are you missing out on? Yeah, so number one, you're being disobedient okay. because Jesus commanded us to, to, to be baptized. Mm -hmm. um, and so you're not glorifying God the way that you should. Number two, you're missing out on an, a means by which God blesses us as Christians and He strengthens us and He gives us power to live all the more um, for His name's sake. And then three, you're um, letting the other Christians or the other people in your church miss out. Um, because like I said before, when you get baptized, you're making a proclamation that Jesus has saved you. And for me, He was in the baptism service on Sunday, you missed out. Uh, but for me, He was in it. It was so encouraging to hear other people share about how Jesus has just radically changed their lives. Okay, so that, that, that makes me think though, um, if you're a Christian and you're disobeying, you haven't been baptized, mm -hmm. will you still go to heaven? Yes, and an awesome example is the thief on the cross okay. who was um, hanging next to Jesus as Jesus was being crucified, the thief was being crucified, and that day he trusted in Jesus. Mm. And Jesus said to me, yeah, well, today you'll be with me in paradise. In other words, mm. when you die here, and I've died here, we will be together in heaven. Um, he didn't have time to get off the cross and go and be baptized. Like No one sprayed him with water while he was on the cross or something like that. Yeah, that didn't happen. Um, so of course, you can be saved without being baptized. But if you have the opportunity of being baptized, go and get baptized. Jesus has commanded it. Yeah, definitely. So if you're at youth and you're, you're thinking, I'm, I'm taking Jesus seriously and I want to follow him, um, then you should be baptized. So come, come and talk to Tinas or myself or one of the leaders. Um, Sign you don't want to miss out on. Awesome. Cool. Sounds good. Hmm. That act where someone is taken underwater, brought back up as a display of their commitment to. <laughs> <laughs> oh, just taken underwater. They just say. I've been before. They're like. Oh, oh. <laughs> Ladies, maters. Peace. <laughs> Catch you around next time. <laughs>
See you around like a wrist hole. <laughs>